Colon rectal cancer is one of the commonest cancer worldwide. 20% of patients presenting with these cancers will have secondaries in the liver called metastases at presentation. And a further 70% of these patients go on to develop spread outside of the colon with liver being the predominant area of spread. So in this video, we shall focus on the background of liver metastases from colorectal cancer, the symptoms, diagnosis and treatment. In this cartoon, you can see the tract that the food takes coming down the gullet into the stomach, it churns it up and passes it into small bowel where enzymes from the pancreas join it to help digest the food as well as the bile coming down from the liver. It's passed into the small bowel and then into the colon. It's this part, the colon, which is at a high risk of developing cancers, which extends right down into the rectum. The common symptoms of colon cancer includes change in bowel habit, such as increasing constipation, blood in the stools, abdominal pain, weight loss, and if the cancer is in the rectum, then there is a sensation of in incomplete emptying at the end of defecation. These cancers can spread to kidney-shaped tissue called lymph nodes, which normally have immune function but also catch cancer cells, and that is the first and the common site of spread. Beyond that, cancer cells can be picked up into the circulation because all of the blood from the bowel, including the colon and rectum, is passed into channels called the portal system, shown over here in blue, which then channel the blood into the liver to take all the goodness out of the food that has been digested. It is these channels then that allow some cancer cells to break free as shown in black over here that travel towards the liver and then form cancer lumps in the liver, what is called stage four disease. And this is our focus in this video. It is very rare for the cancer metastases as shown over here to cause any symptoms at all. The symptoms that patients do have initially are related to the primary tumor, wherever it might be in the colon, and then any treatment that the patients may have received for it or general symptoms of spread of cancer, such as weight loss and loss of appetite. It is rare for the cancer within the liver to enlarge to a point where there is discomfort or pain below the rib cage on the right side. Hence, the bottom line is that for most patients, there will be no symptoms from liver secondaries from colon cancer. Diagnosis of colorectal liver metastases is mainly scan based. 20% are found at the time of treatment of the colon cancer and this may be at the time of surgery or scans performed beforehand. Tumors that are subsequently found are due to surveillance programs that involve serial measurement of tumor marker called the CEA and if this is elevated then that may prompt scans as well as scans being performed at regular intervals after removal of the primary colon cancer. And these scans may involve ultrasound. However, however, the most commonly scan performed is the CT scan to detect liver metastases. This is a CT scan of a patient with widespread metastases in the liver, which are seen as blobs over here in this organ, uh, which is the liver outlined over here. And all of these blobs that you see are liver metastases around in the liver. A CT scan is also utilized to assess the abdomen, the pelvis and the chest for a metastatic disease. This is a picture of the MRI scan of another patient with a single tumor over here. The MRI scan is much more specific uh, and is very accurate in detecting small liver metastases. Finally, CT PET scan is another scan that is frequently deployed in the diagnosis and surveillance of colorectal cancer and its metastases. It is in fact two scans. Over here you can see the bright spots where the cancer is present. And this is brought about by infusing molecules of glucose with a little bit of radioactivity which is then picked up by a gamma camera. And that picture is superimposed on a CT scan to localize the cancers. This is a very useful scan in differentiating cancer from other entities as well as diagnosing the extent of spread. There are several ways of treating the colorectal liver metastases as drawn out over here. This is the liver and in green I have drawn cancer deposits. Now the treatment can be liver directed, specifically targeting the liver, 
or it can be more general such as chemotherapy and often the two are combined. In the liver directed treatment, surgery has the best chance of cure up to 30 to 50 percent. Surgery is deployed when the patients are fit to have surgery. The disease is only limited to the liver or to any other parts which are amenable to treatment and the disease within the liver can be treated with surgery or surgery and ablation. With surgery either one half of the liver is removed as shown over here containing the tumor or the tumor itself is removed with a rim of healthy margin. Every attempt is made to conserve as much of the normal liver as possible. Many more patients are now deemed suitable for surgery or surgery and ablation whom in the previous years may not have been considered as can candidates. It is both because of the philosophy has changed somewhat and the techniques available now aim at conserving more of the liver. Ablation is a technique that aims at destroying the tumor cells by increasing the temperature within the tumor and in the surrounding area and thus killing the cancer cells with heat. One common way of this is by microwave ablation as shown over here. This is the microwave needle probe which has been placed inside the tumor and this causes heat to be generated in a fairly uniform manner thus ensuring that the cancer cell are killed as well as part of the surrounding liver tissue. It has a good success rate provided the tumors are smaller in size and their location is optimal. It can and may be often combined with surgery to improve the number of patients that can be treated with combination treatment. Surgery alone of course is superior in terms of outcomes to ablation. Other treatments can also be applied to the liver such as internal radiotherapy where molecules laden with radioactive energy are infused through the hepatic artery and then towards the cancer deposits to destroy the cancer. Sabre is an external form of radiotherapy where beams from the outside are aimed at the tumor to destroy it. Transarterial chemotherapy involves chemotherapy molecules which are infused into the artery, blocking the artery, supplying the cancer and infusing cancer killing compounds. And lastly, infusional chemotherapy means that the whole liver is treated with chemotherapy directly, thus ensuring a much bigger dose of chemotherapy to the liver. These treatments are usually deployed when surgery or surgery and ablation are not an option. Patients with colorectal cancer are often treated with chemotherapy, especially in patients in whom there is a high risk of relapse of the cancer after initially successful treatment. These treatments are effective but not curative for liver metastases, causing the liver metastases to shrink and becoming smaller and rarely to disappear altogether for a period of time. The majority, however, unfortunately do come back. At times, chemotherapy is deployed to help make the liver metastases amenable to surgery by reducing their size. There is a spectrum of side effects associated with chemotherapy and chemotherapy alone is very rarely curative and average survival on chemotherapy alone is on average less than two years. Newer agents are becoming available rapidly, increasing the role of genetic mutations and markers that signify improved use of gene-based treatment for colorectal cancer. This is a field of great promise for the future. In modern treatments, the initial tumors or the metastases are assessed for genetic mutations for which effective treatments may be available. Unfortunately, despite all this, a significant number of patients progress on treatment and require palliative care and support for their advanced malignancies. This ends a brief overview of treatment of liver metastases from colorectal cancer. If you have any comments, please do share.